Hi, Josh Bruger here, the Energetic Coach uh, with Greenbridge Consulting. Um, and we're here with Mark Gruner, and he's the author of a brand new book that's coming out on February 14th, 2020. The name of the book is Money Matters for Personal Finance. Um, and, and it looks like it's a great book, Mark. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the book and, and why do you think it may, matters to the people that are watching this right now? Hi, Josh. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Money Matters for Personal Finance is kind of a, a book, my first actual full-fledged book that I wrote probably in the last 12 months. Actually, I probably read it, wrote it in six months and then edited it for another six months. I find it's a great book because it actually fills in a real gap with our education. Um, I find the education both in Canada, both in the States, mostly in North America, and perhaps throughout the world, they really don't train people about personal finances. So you're not learning about how to invest your money, you're not learning about how to save your money, you're not learning about how to forecast, how to budget. And what's really interesting, you know, I'm a, a CPA from Canada, and really, these things I've learned over the over the years. In fact, even doing a graduate degree in public accounting, we never had a course on personal finances. So these are things that I learned throughout the years. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm writing this book. So actually, I'm writing this book for a lot of people like me and also for my nieces, my nephew, for the younger generation to really learn about how to plan your financial future. So for example, if you're earning, let's say five, $6,000 a month, you should be aiming to save from two to 3,000. One of the main things that you really want to do as you earn more, you shouldn't be spending more. So for example, if you're earning, let's say you're earning 7,000 a month and you're saving, let's say 50% of that. Now, when you're earning 10,000 a month, you shouldn't be lurking to, to save still 50%. You should be looking to save even a higher percentage. If you take someone like Warren Buffett, he's one of my personal heroes. What he does is he saves about 95% of his earnings, if not 99%. I mean, he's a really exception to the rule, but you know, he's been doing this for years. So what and I teach in this book is taxes, right? I mean, like there is that, right? Like the common guy pays a little bit more in taxes. I'm not not trying to right. get too political here, but there is that piece too, right? I mean, there's a little yeah. there's a lot of tax benefits when you're when you're a Warren Buffett compared to if you're a Mark Gruner or a Josh Kruger by by for example. Right. Yeah. So my book is really talking about after tax income. Uh, I do have a chapter on how to save on your taxes, but definitely when I look at it, I'm talking about after tax dollars. So there's very little. If you're earning five thousand dollars from company X, you're paying tax. There's very little that you can do to get away from those taxes. So I think you should pay. In my book, I also say that you should pay your taxes, but you should plan smart and plan in a way that you can delay your taxes legally to the end. For example, if you're a day trader and you're making some sales every day, you're actually paying taxes on those gains every day because you sold it. But if you hold the investment for the long term, you don't have to pay the taxes until you uh, sell the investment. So that's something that we talk about in the, in the book, but really it's critical for people to figure out how much they can save today, how much they can save tomorrow, and how by investing in certain investment funds, they, they can make, uh, like, by the time they can retire, maybe it's 30 years down the road, they should be in a position where they, where they should have two to three times their income from investment income compared to their salary. For example, I go so through one, yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. I, I just want to make sure that. Um, so let's say let's say you're a, a man. Let's say you're an owner of your own small business. How would this book be effective for a, an owner of a small business, or is this more for personal finances? Is it mainly just for personal finances, or could could a guy who owns or a woman who owns a small business find this book helpful as well? Yeah, well, the the focus is on personal finance. I do have a chapter on running your own business, but really the overall goal is on personal finance. 
So, I mean, I do think that every avenue of revenue that you have for your personal finance is an advantage. So if you're earning a, a salary, I also stress that you should be aiming to earn your own uh, business income or a side hustle. I think uh, it's very important to, to turn your hobbies potentially into revenue streams. So that's what I also focus on. But really the goal is how can I project in the, for, in the future? So one of the things we talk about is making small changes. For example, you and I have discussed this in the past, but if you make uh, like small sacrifices today can pay big dividends tomorrow. For example, one of the things I noticed was every day I was having a coffee at, you know, a big chain. I don't want to say the name, but a well-known chain. And sometimes I was having two. A lot of green writing on it. Is that green? Yes, green it writing? has green around. And the, yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, so I was spending at least on average $10 a day. So when you add it up, that's like, let's say I was doing it. Uh, so that's like you're having a lot of sugar in your coffee too, Mark. It sounds like you're having a lot. It sounds like that was not a uh, like a sugar-free drink there, $10 a day. That's true. On top of it, there's a diet issue. But I did yeah. try to kind of get, I didn't add sugar to it. At least I was good there. But you're talking you about $50 a week. That's $2,500 a year. Now imagine if you invest that $2,500 into a, a stock and you do that for the next 30 years. Well, that the value of that investment would not be 30 times 2,500. It would actually be a lot greater. So that investment after 30 to 40 years could have the value of approximately $400,000. You could buy a house. So you have to look at it like this. Would I rather have a coffee today or a house tomorrow, a $400,000 house? And the so answer is quite obvious. If I don't have a coffee in the morning, I might not be able to keep my job, which I won't then be able to have a house. So sometimes you have to go for the small goals in life. And I'm not trying to disagree with you. I'm with you. Uh, yeah. But sometimes that little small vacation of that nice coffee in the morning is really amazing. But anyways, right. Mark Bruner. I have an answer for that. I have, an answer, I have an answer for that one. So to avoid that, what you do is you prepare your own coffee. You put it in a thermos and you can have coffee every day made by yourself. And you can have more. You can have hot. And you don't have to wait in line for your coffee. So you have it right by your desk. And that alone yes. can yes. save you thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> okay, Mark. Well, well, okay, that's just one of the many cool things that's in this book. And Money Matters, Personal Finance. We do recommend that you don't go. You do invest the $19.99 for the, hardback, for the paperback book uh, on this issue and $9.99 for the e-book e version. And Mark, tell us where we can get this book on February 14th. So it's actually, you can pre-order it right now. It's on Amazon. So you can look up the name of the title, uh, Money Matters for Personal Finance, or you can simply type in my name, Mark Gruner on Amazon.com, and the book would uh, pop up. But yeah, Sounds and special. one of the reasons, uh, some people have asked me, why did you put St. Valentine's Day to put it, to have the book open at? And it's yeah. very What? I'm sure you have a really good reason, Mark. <laughs> okay, so the reason is that, you know, it's really good that you and your significant other have the same goals of saving money and yeah. predicting and planning for the future. So if you have a wife to be. Yeah, the number one. Wife, I'll say this. The number one. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Well, we, don't want to get too, we don't want to get too in gender here, but when, when I will say this. I, I think the, one of the main reasons why uh, couples break up or, or go through a divorce would be because of uh, money. Uh, that's definitely one of the things. So we're looking forward for Money Matters, personal finance to come live. And uh, again, go on Amazon.com and uh, put in Mark Gruner or put in Money Matters, personal finance. And uh, go ahead and pre-order your copy today. We look forward to hearing from you and get some feedback. Make sure you, you respond with the review after you read it. Thanks so much. And thanks a lot, Mark, for joining us today. Have a great thanks, day. Josh. Okay. Bye. Bye.